Hello everybody and welcome to the showcase for Quake VR version V003. So this is another big update because I'm adding two major features. The first one is a brand new particle system. As you can see here, you can already see a sneak peek of the smoke coming out of the lava, lava balls over here. And the second update is haptic feedback. I won't be able to show that to you in this video, but I'll describe what I'm feeling and how it works. So let's start taking a look at the particles. Uh, the engine I was using before, which is a Quake Spasm, had simple support for like circle based particles and that kind of stuff, but didn't have any effect in terms of like texture particles or uh, uh, alpha particles with transparency or that grow or change angle during gameplay. I added all of that from scratch and it kind of works well. As you can see here, I'm shooting the wall and you can see that the particles have textures. I'm gonna just pause with my menu and show you what I mean. As you can see, all the particles here are like rock debris. There's also sparks and smoke. So everything works quite nicely and looks way better than before. And I've also added smoke to the gun itself. So when you shoot in the gun, now you will see smoke coming out of the muzzle over here. Um, this is not only for guns, but also for blood and other effects in the game. I'm gonna show you a little bit of gameplay going over here. Again, this as well is a little bit different. So if we go here, I'm gonna show you the blood particles, which I think are really cool. As you can see, when you shoot the enemy, not only blood comes out with like texture particles, but it's also like a mist that um, appears around the enemy, which gives you the impression of actually having fluid going in the air after the enemy has been shot. Another thing that I can describe is when you pick up items, depending on the hand you use, you're gonna feel some haptic feedback in the hand that's been used to pick up the items. That's pretty cool and tells you uh, for sure whether you picked up an item or not. Like before it was easy to run past the backpack, but now you know that if you don't feel the haptic feedback, you haven't actually picked up the item. Some more blood particles here. I'm actually just gonna stab this guy with my ax. And then as an example, when you press the button as well, you're gonna have some haptic feedback and also some particles for some sparks coming in the air, which is quite cool. Gonna kill some of these guys and show you some more blood particles. I've also made it so that when you get hit, blood and blood mist is gonna spawn from the player model. So you can see it in your HMD view. And also you get haptic feedback on both hands to let you know you're taking damage. Now we're going to take a look at some of the weapon effects. I'm going to use my debug menu here to give myself all the weapons and god mode. So you've seen the shotgun, it has a little bit of smoke at the end. The double barrel shotgun has again double the smoke for both barrels. You also feel happy feedback when shooting these weapons, which is quite important. Uh, then this is pretty cool. Since the nail gun has two barrels, you're going to see smoke coming out of the two barrels. Um, at the right position and furthermore you're gonna feel happy to feedback for every single nail so it feels quite nice to shoot this thing and feel the nails coming out of the gun this as well is gonna have some smoke and some happy feedback grenades as well now have a smoke trail which is not only nice to look at but it's also helpful to track them in gameplay situations and as you can see there's a new explosion over here which looks a lot better than before and has some smoke coming out at the end you can showcase with the rocket launcher as well. The explosion is bigger and more detailed and it has some sparks and stuff flying around and the smoke at the end. Um, this is the landing gun and before it had pretty much no effects. Now when you shoot it you're gonna feel a strong vibration because of the haptic feedback and also it's gonna have both sparks, smoke and other effects when hitting a target. Take a look at this. I think it looks quite nice and it gives you the impression of actually doing some damage. And if we try it on some enemies, you're gonna see how nice it feels to just kill them with my landing gun. Finally, I wanna show you the new gibbing system. So now gibbs will have blood trails that produce mist while they're falling down, so that's pretty nice. And this especially gets pretty cool when you have multiple enemies killed with a single shot. You can find blood and everything just jumping around. So that's pretty much it for this update. There's a bunch of other things that are minor and just, just showcase them real quick and I might be forgetting some stuff. So uh, one thing I've done is uh, rebalance the melee attacks a little bit. Now it takes in, in consideration more the 
the force you're using and the stronger you hit the more damage you will do it was like that before but it was a little bit inconsistent and now uh, it scales exponentially so the harder you actually hit with your controllers the more damage you're gonna do and it's gonna be more meaningful than before to use a lot of velocity when you're attacking um, then it did the bug menu I also added a way of getting quad damage so you can now use impulse 255 and I've also made it so that when you're using me melee attacks with quad damage you make uh, even more multiplier so it's something like six times the damage which leads to you giving enemies which is quite fun to do just punch the enemy into a pulp it's quite satisfying in fact I want to do it more Let's see if I can yeah that's pretty fun um, you can also now change the offset of the muzzle for the weapons in the weapon offset menu and the way this is useful is not only for the smoke particles but also to decide where the laser crosshair comes out from so in fact in this update the laser crosshair will now behave very nicely and uh, it will come out just as you expect out of the barrel of the gun so as you can see here I have my laser crosshair and it should be in the correct position for every gun including the weirder ones like the lining gun and if you hold your gun in front of you and you go into the weapon offset, me offset menu you can actually tweak it not just the gun position but also the muzzle position and decide where this thing is coming from so you can tweak that kind of things um, uh, yes finally there's also a multiplier for the particles so my, people might not like the particles effect and they might, might want to have more of them or less of them you can either completely disable or enable them which is also useful for performance but also decide what the multiplier should be so if I go crazy and I put something like 10 times multiplier you are going to see that I have a lot more particles and my game in fact sl starts to slow down but it can be fun to mess around with this especially when there's blood involved uh, in fact I'm gonna try and kill this guy with a grenade and you're gonna see a ton of blood everywhere explosion as well are over the top and stuff like that so you can tweak this multiplier to your liking obviously uh, the the effects were built with one one pair multiplier in mind but you can make it you know you can play around with that so cool that's it for this update uh, the download is gonna be available on the github page as always the link is in the description and please uh, I really appreciate any feedback, any comments you have. I've seen a lot of people making videos or posting about their experiences, and it makes me really happy to see that. So please let me know what you think and what I should implement next. Thank you.